Welcome to this week's edition of Tech Tips. This week, I'll be showing you how to frame a party wall. There's actually two ways that you can frame a party wall or a wall or a dividing wall, demising wall. Uh, there's actually two ways in MWF. And this week, I'll show you one way. And next week, we'll go ahead and show you the second way. Um, but the very first thing that you're going to need to do is see how that um, that demising wall is actually built. So um, here, let me click on this wall. So you see here, it's a fire um, wall, a divider wall. If I come in here and look at how it was built, I'll come in here into the edit. And you see here that we have uh, more than one structure layer in between the core boundaries. So uh, for those using MWF, you know that um, it, MWF doesn't work well with um, walls that have more than one structure layer in between these core boundaries. So the first thing that needs to be done is some housekeeping. Uh, what we need to do is actually add up all of these um, uh, these layers here to have one structure layer. Uh, so five and a half, five and a half, 11 plus one. So it's going to be a one foot structure layer. So we're going to have to do some housekeeping. So I'm going to just say OK here and I'll show you what I've done. So this is the original wall. I've gone ahead and in this wall here, I've just added that prefix of MWF. And I'll show you that wall. And all I've done is added everything up here and just made one structural layer. It's very important uh, to only have that one structural layer between the core boundaries for MWF to frame it correctly. So that's the first thing you need to do in both ways of framing um, a demising wall. Okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, again one of two ways on how to frame these party walls. So the first way, the way I'm gonna uh, show you today is to have a one panel within that wall. So what we're gonna uh, create is a, um, a panel that has um, one top plate, one bottom plate, and uh, just one end stud. And in between, we're going to have um, uh, we're going to have studs uh, running along that bottom plate. So let me show you how to get there. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select now this one here that I've corrected that has that um, MWF, uh, sorry, suffix at the end. So we're going to come in here and uh, we're going to hit create. And because this is a um, one foot um, uh, wide wall, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into the template here. Um, and we're just going to use that default. Remember, we're using that default. We're going to set it as active. We're going to do close. We're going to hit create. First thing we're going to do is we're going to switch these out. Remember, this way of framing that party wall is to have uh, one top plate, one a bottom plate, and one end stud. But then here, we're going to change this out. Remember, we want. Um, one top plate, one bottom plate, and just one end stud. Let's change this to structural center line. And here we are going to, uh, the verticals we're gonna leave at two by six. And here the bottom plate, we're gonna put in the two by 12s. So let's look for that two by 12. And the bottom plate as well, we're gonna switch that to two by 12. And then here in the miscellaneous, we're gonna change our end studs to also have the 2x12. So we're going to select here override and we're going to pick the 2x12 for either side. <coughs> we're going to hit close. We're just going to hit apply here before we move on to our next command, which is to actually change this into a chase wall. So I'm going to click in here chase wall. So uh, the stud type, remember this, we use that default, which was using the two by six. So we don't need to switch this out. We'll leave this to two by six. And here you have um, these reference planes here. We're gonna leave this um, uh, just here using the default reference planes here. And you'll notice here that it's going to put one of those layers in the structural face interior and the other one in the structural face exterior. So we're gonna hit close and okay. We're gonna see those studs come in. And there you go. We have here um, that one uh, end stud that I was talking to you about um, just at the beginning. We'll go all the way to the end, here we go. And then we have those two by sixes uh, here in the middle. So you'll have one panel. Here you see it in 3D with one top plate, one bottom plate, 
and one end set on either end. Now, if you needed these to be staggered, um, you know, for sound resistance, uh, things of that nature, um, that's where those reference planes can come in. So what you can do if you do want to have these uh, staggered is put in a reference plane, or you can put in here a benchmark. Either one will work. So let's start by, you know, putting in a benchmark. So I'll come in here into markers, I'll just put a benchmark here by selecting points. I'll give that benchmark, I'll put it in the default one here. And I'll just say chase, just so I know which one I'll be referring to. And I'll say one. And I'll say select. And I'll just hit two points here, one here and one here. And I'm going to align this one to this one. And I'm actually going to put this one on top here as well. So let me align again, this one to this one, but I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna move it eight inches, eight inches like so. And now this is gonna be chase um, one, I believe, and this one is going to be chase two. There we go, we see it here. So now I'm gonna go back into the panel's properties go into that structural member. Now remember we have that chase wall and then here I'm gonna choose that benchmark. I'm gonna go all the, to the way, all the way to the end, excuse me. I'll pick that first layer to be set at chase one and my second layer to be set at chase two. And I'll say close and okay. And because I put them eight inches apart, um, I should have them staggered and uh, you'll have that consistency of one foot. Uh, six on either side. So you see now here they are staggered and we can come in here and dimension if you like. So from here to here you have inches, but from here to here you have that one foot four. So here you have it, um, a staggered chase wall using the chase option where you have one um, top plate, one bottom plate, and then your studs in between them staggered. So there you have it. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week with the second way of creating these chase walls.